Hey everyone, Andrew Garcia with Drew TV. Uh, as you know, we are always going to keep you up to date on any Chicago Bears topics that we can discuss. Um, obviously, we're in free agency. We're in between free agency and the uh, the draft. However, Chicago's already making a splash. Um, they say they're not trying to make a playoff run this year. They're waiting until next year to try to make a playoff run. But I think what they're doing is they're kind of underselling what they're doing so they don't look bad if things don't work right this year. So, I mean, a lot of things have happened this this, this past week. So we're going to do a weekend wrap-up is what we're going to do. This past week has been full of a bunch of free agent signings, some extensions, um, a lot of news going on. A lot of things are happening, right? First and foremost, obviously, we all know, um, you know, I mean, I, I'm sure everybody is very familiar with the DJ Moore, number one overall draft pick. Uh, we moved down to number nine, but we also did get two first and two seconds and DJ Moore for the number one draft pick. I mean, right there, that's an A plus. You know, I, I'll give it an A signing because you could have got a plus on there. Um, so I'll give it an A signing on that one as far as for what we did there. Um, now, you also, what we did was we uh, we brought back a couple players that are very valuable and very important to the Bears. Um, you have the fullback, Blasting Game. Great signing, you know, a great extension signing, I should say, um, with him. Uh, I mean, just a phenomenal, phenomenal run blocker. He do the beast. The dude's a freaking beast when it comes to run blocking. Um, pass blocking, run blocking. He just, as blocking in general, he's definitely going to assist us to be able to help out the offensive line, which is somewhere that is still an avenue that we need to kind of keep working on. However, I mean, you, you've gotten within this. You know what I mean? You've got DJ Moore, number one wide receiver. Mix him with Darnell Mooney, Chase Claypool, uh, Cole Komet. Put him in there. Um, also, the new tight end that we just signed, I mean, Robert Tanya. I mean, you have an elite core of weapons that can catch a football, gather separation. They have a lot of abilities that they can do to make offensive plays. So that's what we're going to talk about there. Now, also what we're going to talk about as well is, um, let's stick with the offense. So I'll stick with the, the offense and I'll say that we got Travis Homer and Deontay uh, Foreman. Deontay Foreman from the Carolina Panthers. Um, and then we also got, what, I, just, I completely just forgot his name. Oh, Travis Homer from the Seattle Seahawks, which... Travis Homer is going to be a great uh, receiving running back for us. He's going to get us a lot of reception yards and things like that. But he's also got great pass blocking ability as well. Um, then you also have Deontay Foreman, who's pretty much like your David Montgomery. We, we, we did lose David Montgomery. So we didn't bring in somebody who has that able body, that, that very strong, I think he's like 200 and something pounds, 6'1", very strong, just fortified runner is Deontay Foreman. So those are all some great acquisitions right there. We also got Nate Davis as well um rumor has it that we're going to move cody whitehair over to guard so the offensive line is something that we really really still need to look at because yeah we did get nate davis which is great um he's gonna be a good addition but i mean at the same time you're still with, you're with cody whitehair we got tevin jenkins and braxton jones um i really don't know what you're gonna do on that that right side as much i mean you put nate davis at the right tackle but we still need the guard so I mean, a lot of things still need to to get figured out when it comes to the offensive line now, the biggest, biggest thing that we've done in the free agency was signing Tremaine Edmonds and also signing TJ Edwards. So these are two phenomenal top 10 linebackers in the position. We already know how Jack Sanborn is. We know Jack Sanborn's a beast. We already know he's just a rookie. Like this is gonna be a second year. So he's gonna be able to learn from these two veterans. And that's, I mean, like literally we just went from like one of the crappiest linebacking cores to one of the most solid with the signings. Uh, we also got Demarcus Walker, who's a defensive end. Um, so that's going to be a great addition as well. I mean, obviously, we still need that three technique. Um, so we're still going to be looking for the three technique on the line. Uh, but, I mean, signing somebody like Demarcus Walker, he's definitely going to be able to help out, like, Justin Jones and what's going on in that factor as far as, you know, like, the the interior line, even at the edges, you know what I mean? Like, we, we have some abilities that we can still do here. We still have the draft available. Uh, there's still more free agency to be able to sign more individuals. However... The thing that I want to address to everybody is that once DJ Moore and that trade happened, it was a snowball effect. Everybody else wanted to sign with us because they're like, okay, yeah, the Bears are actually doing something. The Bears want to make some moves. We want to actually be a true participant when it comes down to, uh, you know, competitive teams. So right now what's really happening is we're signing a lot of players that we're signing for very good prices. I mean, like these prices that we're signing them for, 
Man, I'm talking about your salary cap is still phenomenal. We still have more than enough room for any type of top draft that we, we draft. Uh, we do have four picks within the first 60, I think it's like the 64 range. So, I mean, we're still going to be able to grab some talent in the draft. Uh, we can work on the linemen. We can work on both sides, you know, defense and offensive linemen. Uh, I mean, you could also work on, you know, grabbing another extra position player, you know what I mean, a cornerback or, at, you know, a, a wide receiver or anything like that. But I mean, if you start to really look and assess at what's going on here and just literally without these guys even having to play with each other, the talent acquisition that you have is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It completely changes you guys from being a 3-14 and 14 team to a 14-3 and 3 team, which is where, you know, the ultimate goal is to be, is to flip that, you know, flip that record. The Jacksonville Jaguars did it. So, I mean, you know, they did that within a year. So, I mean, it's, it's really, the, the Miami Dolphins did it as well. It's kind of funny because, you know, I'm from Florida. So, it's kind of weird how the Florida teams have been doing that. However, the possibility to change literally your direction within a year is happening now. And I do believe that Justin Fields has been a great recruiter. I think he's recruiting a lot of these men because they want to play with a quarterback like that. They want to play with a guy who, you know what, I'm taking ownership of my team. Um, and so, I mean... Be a bear, don't be a bear, but you know what? We're going to bear down. And so I, I truly believe that with his attitude, his confidence, his perseverance, and everything that he's gone through, he's helping and assisting in recruiting. All of these great talents and acquisitions that we're getting, I mean, the draft capital that we're receiving is amazing. Um, I mean, like, really, what can you say? I mean, Poles has been doing his job. As a general manager, he's been doing his job. He's been rebuilding this team, and he's rebuilding it in a way where we're going to acquire as many acquisitions as we possibly can this year, but we're not just looking for this year. We're looking for long term. So we're looking 2024. We're looking 2025. We're looking to the future because I do. I truly believe that Poles wants to be. I mean, he's a very young man. I mean, he's my age. So the man wants to be here for 20, 30 years with a tremendous track record. I can already see he's a winner. That's what he wants to do. Is he wants to win. So he sees long term, but he also sees the short term. He's doing things. I mean, I think that just I mean, at 36 years old, I mean, how many people can actually truly manage be the general manager of a national football organization and conduct the trades and the drafts and everything that he's doing and do it the way he's doing it. I mean, it just looks so nice and pretty. I mean, he's just doing this thing very, very pretty. So that's all I got to say about that. Um, I mean, I, I respect polls. I, you know, I would truly love him to, you know, if he's going to continue on this route and the way he's, man, for the next 20, 30 years, I would love to see him as the general manager of the Chicago Bears. I mean, he's just doing a phenomenal, tremendous job. So with that being said, I mean, everything is being fresh and new. The, the organization as the Chicago Bears are trying to bring in the new atmosphere, um, the hits philosophy with Eber Uh I mean, just everything that they're doing, the culture that they're trying to develop, the, uh, the, the young rebuild that they're gathering. Because I mean, nobody that we have signed is over 30 years old. So we're not taking like old veterans. We're actually taking people who are hitting free agency. They still got talents and abilities and they're choosing, they're choosing to sign with us because they see that their potential and their future is going to be better in a Bears jersey than it is in any other jersey. Which is amazing. It's actually amazing to see because, I mean, for my whole lifetime, I've never seen this, to be honest with you. Not being a Bears fan. Seeing it from other teams, seeing how the progression works when it comes to that, not the Bears. I'm very excited for what the Bears are about to do. With that being said, though, I love you all, man. Everybody, be great. Be real. This was your weekend wrap-up from just week one. A free agency. I mean, let's just wait till the draft comes. I mean, I'm telling you, Foles is about to excite everyone in Chicago. So with that being said, I love you guys. Be real, be you, and bear down, baby. Till next time.